Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. Not wasting my time, not wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. Be done with the 90s. Ooh, what's up there? Ooh, ow. Ooh, ow. Ooh, look up, dog. Ow, ow, ooh, ow. Hey, watch Ellis catch this. Big crash and dribble into the double team. I ain't never seen somebody dribble right into the double team. That's garbage. So, kids, what you supposed to do? You supposed to catch it, back it out. back. Don't dribble into the double team. Ellis, we done with the 90s. Look at this ball. They garbage out here. Look at look at Nate McMillan shoot this broke ass. That's garbage. GP Gary Payton is garbage. He ain't doing nothing this game. This all he do. Push it up the court. Push it up the court. Ain't nobody on him. And just pass the ball. He trash. Watch Robert Pack. Big trash. Look at this. Air ball. Garbage. Hey, watch Kendall Gill shoot this air ball. They act like Kendall Gill was cold. Look at this. Ah, uh, so y'all seen this trend on TikTok, a little bit on Instagram, a little bit on YouTube, a little bit on Twitter about... We are done with the 90s, quote unquote. And so I'm going to talk about this in this video. I'm going to say we are done with the 90s, respectfully. And this is coming after the old heads. This is not just come after the old heads. This is come after the, the new people, the casual NBA fans that are saying this. And I'm going to explain why this topic is just stupid. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, we're back and give another video. Now, if y'all new to my channel, y'all love NBA commentary, y'all love NBA content, just give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm posting every week. I'm going to be posting more. Give me to 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all for support. Y'all want to know why this topic is stupid? Because the new generation is just trying to find excuses for why the 90s don't compare to the new generation of NBA players. And why, yes, we have a lot more skilled NBA players in today's game. But also, yes, defensively, it's not much defense. It's not even no comparison for this generation to back in the 90s. And the ability to be more physical with the players, no comparison also. So... And my point is, this trend is stupid for many reasons. One, yes, we see clips of MJ not be able to go left, okay? But MJ still was one of the leading, definitely the leading scorer in the, in, a, in, their, in the 90s generation. Nobody can stop MJ. So for y'all to try to discredit this, is just y'all trying to find an excuse for why you know, the new generation of players, especially LeBron, especially Curry, especially Kobe, like, why they're the GOATs and why MJ shouldn't be in the list. I heard somebody saying because of the 90s generation of the trend we had done in the 90s and the clips of, of low lights of clips of people, uh, players and the clips y'all seen before, not being able to get shots off, not being able to make shots, not even airballing shots. Y'all saying MJ should be up top. 10 player can y'all stop it can y'all stop with stop with this like listen y'all know how i feel okay y'all not gonna convince me otherwise of lebron being the goat okay i've in my lifetime got to witness lebron james since he came not just came in the league but when he was in high school i got to experience him growing up Starting watching basketball was like I was like 19 years old. The man was the most athletic NBA player I've ever seen in my life. The man was all able to make players around him better. The man was able to rebound the ball at a high level. The man was able to generate more fans to watch him in a high school arena. Then when he got drafted, he was already a phenom. The man are lift up to his potential. Not just lift up, he exceeded expectations. So he's always going to be my goal. I don't care what anybody else say. I don't care what 
all these old heads got to say about MJ. I don't care what all these casual fans got to say about MJ. MJ's your goal. Cool. You got to witness him. Well, I'm not going to discredit and try to convince otherwise. There's no convincing of these other fans who, who their favorite players. I think that's the most stupid thing an NBA fan could do. And that's the problem in this generation. This generation is trying to convince other fans that MJ's a goal, that LeBron's a goal, that Kobe's a goal, that Curry's a goal, that Shaq. Like, like, if you grew up loving this person, that's your favorite player, and that's your GOAT, cool, that's your GOAT. What's the point of arguing otherwise? It's stupid. I always thought this. Yes, we all pointed out facts why this person is better than that person. But you're not going to convince a person that witnessed their, their favorite player play when they was alive or when in their era. Especially the old heads out there that say, oh, yes, MJ's the GOAT. There's no, there's no convincing me. Cool. This, this shouldn't be no convincing. We got to stop this. And we seen these go like clips of the nineties. Okay, cool. I wasn't a lot. I, I was born in nineteen ninety seven. I really wasn't that much alive to see all these players in the nineties play. I just, I was just seeing a little bit of highlights. And y'all just bringing up low lights. When y'all fans out there that's making this trend, y'all weren't even alive to see these people play. And for the old heads out there. They should be. They should really argue for the for the casual fans out there to talk about. Oh, there was a lot more air balls. Nobody can be, really go left. Okay, cool. The NBA has evolved. NBA has evolved, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's supposed to do. There's definitely more skill in this generation. We got people. We got seven footers hitting threes. We got seven footers doing step backs. We never seen these seven footers do that back in the in the old generation. We know that. So why were you trying to convince this generation of players to the old generation? Why? What's the point? It's the same thing. Not the same thing play-wise. It's going to be the same result for any fan that thinks that player is the GOAT. A lot of people I know, they love Kobe. They think Kobe's a GOAT. Cool. That's your goal. You got the witness. Kobe's your favorite player of all time. He should be your GOAT. Curry. People are just now, you know, getting like 15, 16 years old, maybe 17, 18. They got to witness Curry their whole, whole life. Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. He's my, he's the GOAT. That's cool. That's your GOAT. I just don't understand why y'all trying to downplay the 90s. If y'all want to downplay the 90s, what's the, why y'all not downplaying the 80s? Why y'all not downplaying Whip Chamberlain back in the 70s, the 60s, Bill Russell? Why y'all not downplaying John Helvichet? Why y'all not downplaying Bob Cousy? Like, why now? What my point is why now y'all trying to downplay the nineties? Why now? Why? What what's your what's the point? Basketball is basketball. It evolves like every other sport does. And this is why basketball is my favorite sport. It evolves in many other ways other sports can't. This trend is Excuse me, my legs retarded. It's retarded. Because the old heads that was watching the, the games back in the day, they wasn't having no problem with it. But now the old heads are trying to, you know, really convince the new people to watch the, the 90s highlights. And some of, them to, some of the new people are trying to convince like, oh, this generation is way better than the 90s. Who cares? The same, the same top ten people of all time are still in the conversation. The same top five people, top five players up in NBA history are still in the conversation. 
just because we have clips showing that MJK go left, oh, he's not the GOAT? This turn is silly. It, it's laughable. It, it really is. It, it's definitely it's definitely entertaining, and I'm definitely enjoying and, and watching this because yeah, they have definitely come out the old head, especially especially Chad Town Thirty Two. Y'all see him on TikTok. They coming after him, and I see all types of comments saying, "Oh, we are done with the '90s." But he, isn't he the person that's he's the same person that's saying LeBron's the goat? So why why are y'all coming in? We are down in the 90s in his chat when, yes, he's an old head, but he also acknowledges that LeBron's to go over MJ. Mm. Bet y'all won't answer that question. Y'all, these trends are funny. We got to acknowledge that basketball is basketball. It's, it's, either way, it's, it's enjoyable to watch. We got to acknowledge that it's definitely more offense in this generation. Back in that generation, it's more defense. It's more physicality. It's less highlight reels. This generation is more highlights. It's, it's definitely more media. There's a lot more internet. There's a lot more access to really see highlights. They ain't have no internet and stuff that back then. So this trend, I'm not going to say it has to stop because I'm joining it. But it is silly. And I hope y'all think that too. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give it a boy like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Just comment down below what y'all think about this trend. Comment down below. Whoa. Are we really done with the 90s? Now, I don't care, honestly. And I don't care who's your GOAT. That's your GOAT. Let's stop trying to convince who the GOAT is. And just witness greatness. That's all I gotta say, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in this video. It's been Bo Will and I'm